Okay, this is ENG 460, and today we're going to look at this uh, program called um, Swap. And what Swap basically does is it implements a subroutine right here, written in C, C++. The name of the procedure is Swap. The procedure takes two arguments. The first argument is the address of the array, and the next one is the um, integer that says which element you want to swap. So basically, you're going to declare a local variable temp here, and um, you're going to take v of k, move it into temp, and then you're going to overwrite the kth element, v of k, with the next element, and then uh, rewrite the next element with temp, and you've effectively swapped the kth and the kth plus one element. So the question is, is how are we going to do that in assembly? Now you notice this is all commented out right here. So this is just to show you the C. Well, we need to do that in assembly. And the first thing you might think about is, well, we need an array. Okay, how do we do an array? Do we put an array up in the data segment? Well, no, that's typically fixed data. What we want to do is kind of create the array uh, during the main code. So kind of like simulating dynamic memory allocation, kind of like doing a new or a malloc operator. We're going to create it uh, when the program is running. Okay, and then we can uh, swap the elements. So what we're going to have to do here in order to do that is use something called the global pointer. Okay? Now, if you go to Qt spim, if you remember right, let's go bring up Qt spim. Let's go to int reg, and down here is register 28. That was the global pointer, and that was 1,000, 8,000, and that's kind of the location of where you um, would, where the heap would be. Uh, do dynamic allocation of memory. So memory, as it comes and goes, goes on the heap. Okay. Now, if I look at 1,080, okay, there you have it right there. 1,080, and then on that location, you've got the value 0, 01. And this would be 108001, 108002, 108003, and then 108004. Okay? All right, so let's come um, along here and uh, let's bring back up the program. So I need to create a memory. Well, how can I do that? I'm going to create a memory element that contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, those are going to be my memory elements. Now, where am I going to store those? Well, I'm going to take that one, I'm going to load it immediately into T0, and then I'm going to store word T0 out to the global pointer offset 0. So the global pointer is going to point to the beginning of my array. Now I'm going to load 2 into T0 and store that out 4 bytes past the global pointer. Load 3, store it out 8 bytes past the global pointer. Load 4 into T0 and store that 12 bytes past the global pointer. I'm uh, offsetting four bytes because I'm storing integers. You know, these could be 32-bit quantities. I've just kept them simple, small though. All right, so I put five into T0, and then I write five out to here. And I put six into there, and then write six out to 20 bytes past the global pointer. Well, now what you want to do is you want to invoke the swap routine. You've got to pass the address of V. Well, where's the first element of V? Well, it's at the location of the global pointer, which we did up here. Okay? So the array starts at the global pointer. So I move that guy into the A0 register. Which element do I want to swap? I want to swap 3. So load immediate that guy into 3. Then we jump and link on swap. And swap takes two, um, two arguments. The first one is A0, and the second one is A1. A0 contains um, the address of the array, and then A1 contains um, the index you want to swap. So A1 has the index, so the first thing I need to do is multiply that by 4, and I do that with a shift left logical operation. Then I take um, k times 4, which is t1, and I add that to the address of the array, which is the global pointer. So that effectively is the address of v of k, which is just equal to v plus k. So now I've got the address of the element I want in t1. <coughs> so I can do a load word. <coughs> Since I already have the address, I don't need to offset, and I can load v of k into t0. I change that offset from 0 to 4, and that'll be the next element of the array, and I'll load v of k plus 1 into t2. So T0 has V of K, T2 has VK plus 1. So now that I've got those guys in registers, I just write them back out to the other location. <coughs> I take T2, which is V of K plus 1, and I store it back out to the location of V of K. And I take V of K, and I write it out to the location of V of K plus 1, 4, and I've swapped them. All right. So let's go ahead and um, bring this code in here. And let's see, what's this guy called? I believe it's called swap. And we'll go to the text, and I'll just start F10 and through here. And here's where I'm basically load immediate 2, store it out to the global pointer plus 4, store it out to the global pointer plus 8, load 4, store it out to 12 GP, load 5, store it out to GP plus 16, load 6, store it out to GP plus 20. So at that point right there, I've created an array that starts at the global pointer. 
Well, let's go look at our registers. There's the global pointer, 1,000, 8,000. Let's go look at our data segment and notice 1,000, 8,000. There's my 1, there's my 2, there's my 3, there's my 4, there's my 5, there's my 6, so forth. Now at this point, we're going to call, um, we're going to load up our parameters. The array begins at the global pointer, so I'm going to move that into A0. Then I'm going to swap the third element, which is um, 3, so I'm going to move that into A1. Then I'm going to call jump and link swap. So let's go to our data and realize we're going to swap, let's see, the 0, the 1, the 2. This is the 3 element. This is the 3 element right here. I'm going to swap that with the 4 element. So when we're done, this 4 should become a 5, and this 5 down here should become a 4. All right, let's uh, jump into um, our swap. Jump and leak swap. Okay, so we jump down here to swap. First thing we do is we multiply our index by 4 with the shift left logical. Then I add that index times 4 to A0, which gives me the address of V of K. I load V of K, I load V of K plus 1, and then I write out V of K plus 1 to V of K's location, write out V of K to V of K plus 1 location, and then I return. Okay, so I just return. Now let's go look at our data. And lo and behold, this was a 4, but now it's a 5. This was a 5, now it's a 4. We swapped them. Great. Go back to here, and then we do our normal termination, and the program has stopped. All right. Okay, that pretty much uh, sums up uh, how to use the swap routine and how to create an array. How did we create the array? Well, we just loaded some values and registers and wrote them out and let our global pointer point to the location of the array. Now, if I wanted to put another array in here, well, then I would start the next array at, uh, you know, a different offset from the global pointer, maybe 100. But I'd keep track of where all those offsets are, and um, then you can, by adding them to the global pointer, I could uh, access the array. All right, I'm going to stop right there, and we'll see you next time.